The next news is out of Buenaventura, Colombia. A Catholic bishop will spray holy water from a helicopter over the city to defeat the devil. Monsignor Ruben Dario Jarmillo Montoya, a Catholic bishop in Buenaventura, Colombia, said that his city has been ravaged with drugs, gangs, and corruption. He'll borrow a helicopter and spray his city with holy water on July 14th in order to cleanse it from all the demons. And quote, uh, we want to go around the whole city from the air and pour holy water onto it to see if we exercise all those demons that are destroying our port, Montoya told a local radio station. And quote, so God's blessing comes and gets rid of all the wickedness that is in our streets. So, you know, if praying isn't enough to make it stop and wishing and wanting isn't enough to make it stop, uh, maybe maybe pouring holy water from a helicopter is going to do the trick. Um, isn't holy water, doesn't it have shit in there? Like, wasn't there a study that there was sh pieces of tiny shit in most holy waters in churches? Yeah. So <laughs> this guy is spreading disease around the city. By the way, if this works, can you try that over the Vatican as well? Because when it comes to... <laughs> When it comes to corruption and, you know, that's where, you know, that's one city that needs it a lot. Right. But how do these people think, like, do they think, like, God is, like, sitting there and be like, you know, they in their minds, do they think, like, so God is, you know, the city, there's a lot of corruption in the city and you're praying for fixes and God, like, hmm, not now. Maybe, like, God is actually waiting for holy water to be spread. Like, you know, okay. how, how little do they think of their own God? I can't understand. They're so delirious. Here's here's what a lot of religious people that come up with this stuff believe. They believe it's, it's definitely God gives us all free will, right? And uh, if you open your heart to Jesus, Jesus will use you as a tool um, to do good. So when these people get these ideas, they really do believe that this is what God wants because mm -hmm. otherwise they wouldn't have been put on this earth to come up with this idea to do this thing. So they, this guy really does believe that this is what God wants and this is what's going to help, you know, rid the wickedness out of their streets. And it's but what, like, but what kind of a God would be like, I can save this city, but I'm going to wait for you to get holy right? water and then get on a helicopter and spray water all over the city. But borrow a helicopter. Borrow name. a helicopter. That's, <laughs> that's when I'm going to, okay, like now I'm going to save this city. That's what, that is what I was waiting for. <laughs> so God is letting, you know, all the drugs and the gangs and the rape, all that stuff. It's all, it's all fine until this guy gets the idea. <laughs> Okay. This okay. Uh, actually, Chris brings up a good point. How uh, how big is the city? How much what? Uh, how much will he spray? Like, how much water does this guy have? How much water can he fit in a helicopter for the entire city? That's a fantastic question. Uh, uh, he's he's just talking about sprinkling mm. some. Um, he has to do like one. Like, if he wants to cover the city, he should. Um, like, what what is that thing? Um, when it dilute water, I forgot. I don't know. The, the people that dilute water a lot? Uh-huh. Homeopathy. Oh, 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 yeah. I think yeah. the Catholics and homeopathy people should get together so that he could dilute it enough to get what? How do you make, how do you make holy water? Do you know? You just bless it. It's just water that you bless. Why doesn't his, and he just go to the uh, city's water thing, you know, the place where the tap water comes from? And just uh -huh. stand right up there and just, just bless it <laughs> as they come out. And just, you know, you don't even need a helicopter. You just All the water that comes out of people's tap water are now, is now holy water. You just, I mean, just build a church on top of your water facility, right? And yeah. then when the, when the priests are doing their blessing, you're, you're basically all the tap water every day will be holy water. The whole city will be saved every day. Just so if I'm correct, and somebody correct me if I'm not, but I believe holy water is really just blessed uh, water. If, if that's the case, why doesn't you just borrow a fire fire truck and go around with the hose and just really spray the heck out of everything? You know, I think um, I think should, I think if this works, then it should be mandatory that to ch make your churches on top of the water facility. Why, why wouldn't they do this then? Like you shouldn't. Every water facility should be t it turned into a church as well. 
so that auto then people don't even have to come to church anymore they're they're every every time you yeah great i mean you yeah. know yeah well and here's here's the deal uh Hemet meta notes that newsweek released um some articles saying that the city has been working with humanitarian rights groups to mm -hmm. fix the problems and that there has been a significant improvement because of the humanitarian rights groups um no so bullshit it's because of the holy water <laughs> Well, you know that's what he's gonna get. He's gonna take all the he's credit go with the secular... because these groups <laughs> working here, and he's gonna be like, "No, our city is much better now because my holy water." Oh, these humanitarians with their real solutions. Um, <laughs> Soraya is saying, if this would have been in India, they would have uh, sprayed cow piss mixed in water. They call it purification. Europe is saying, or just bless the clouds. As soon as it rains, everything will Boom. be blessed. Well, no, <laughs> yes. no, no, you're not faking, right? Clouds go away. Now, all of a sudden, another city gets your benefits. All your hard work <laughs> is going to go away. Uh, so, Pam is saying, we used to take the holy water from our school, church, and th uh, throw at each other uh, and eventually replace it with water from restrooms so we don't get caught. Okay, so that's not a good idea. Holy water is full of shit, by the way. Like, I'm not, like, literal shit. So don't do that. That's not good. <laughs> You're going to get pink eye, okay? Don't touch that stuff. Go look up the studies. I'm not making this shit up. Actually, <laughs> no <problem. laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.